Morning guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this video is going to be like vlog style, not a specific job, so just kind of what I'm doing day to day. I don't know what the video contains yet, because I'm starting my day. Uh, I'm actually going to be leaving for MOT, but I cannot find the number plate for my truck anywhere. So that's what I'm currently looking for, is the number plate to pop my trailer so I can leave. I don't know what I did with it, I must have left it on the trailer I did MOT last week. But I can't find that trailer. So, yeah. Let's go to MOT this morning. I can't film the test, but you never know what's going to happen in my day. I never know what's going to happen. I found the trailer, trailer 105. This is the one I MOT'd last week, and this is where I dropped it. So with a bit of luck, it's still on the back of the trailer. Uh, yeah, shouldn't be. Yeah, forget. I always forget my trailer. I always forget my number plate. It was, um, I can't see with this torch shining in my face. Yes, there it is. Oh, there it is. I always forget to take the number plates off because I'm shunting trailers in the yard and into the workshop all day. I don't put a number plate on. So when I do go for MOT, it's rare I put this on. It's only for MOTs, which is twice, three times a week. So when I get back, I forget to take it off because I'm that used to just dumping trailers and pulling out the pin. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, make sure you like, subscribe, you know what I mean? Yeah, which way are you? That way. We'll leave that in, won't we? This morning's test is actually a Moffat trailer. So, um... Hopefully, no too many dramas. Cause all the lights are. Uh... Ow! Why those my fingers? All the lights are on sliders and that, and I modified all these last year. Cause I had to modify all that back bar and all the light brackets because it used to seize in. So I cut a big slot underneath the bumper bar, um, built new light brackets, and put pinch bolts in, and then welded some wedges in, so the spark couldn't sprag out anymore. Um, but the actual internal tubes can slide through. It's been mint. Just the, the asshole I used to have trying to get them lights in and out. Oh, mate! Mate, enough to make a grown man cry. Anyway, to row wire, we go. to um, give a few lads a shout out who have given me a shout out which has helped me like, give me a bit of a leg up on this me starting out on this YouTube journey obviously I'm only just starting um, but there's a few lads that have gone out of the way to give me shout outs and speak to me on the phone and give me advice and message me on Instagram and there um, Chris a professional struggle obviously I talked to him quite a bit He's helped me figure out a few things with this, especially putting music in my time lapses. Uh, Dave from DJ Project, he tried to talk me through that as well, but because he uses a different software, it's a different process. Um, whereas me and Chris both use iMovie because we can't figure out computers, so we do it all on our phone. The shout out to Chris, professional struggler. He's um, he's really entertaining to watch. He's, He's just a breath of fresh air, yeah. nothing seems to phase him, he just struggles on through the daily battles as mechanics do, he's just a breath of fresh air. Go have a look at his channel, it's uh, genuinely, it's just nice to sit down in an evening and, and to watch him, even my missus sits there and watches him. Uh, and obviously the other page is D&J Projects, David d and I talked to Dave on Instagram and obviously watch their videos, they've given me a shout out, uh, they've, they, they've helped me and told me uh, little bits and bats to help me when to post and I need to be more consistent but they're just Dave, I haven't really spoke to Stevie but um, Dave, just salt of the earth just a lovely dude, from what, I, from what I've seen of Dave, he's just a nice guy and in a world full of arseholes it's, it's nice to find just a genuinely nice person and then got Baz from World of Faber um, he's given me a few shout outs on his Instagram which is mega obviously I watch him from an educational standpoint he's such a clever dude when it comes to plant and welding just just really good to watch because I'm always trying to scrub up on knowledge um, he's just a real clever dude in that area and it's just nice to see how he does about his day he's just proper old school dude isn't he like he'll slap you around the back of the head if you're messing about but I imagine he'd sit down and talk you through a job if you're struggling he's one of them old school 
That's the vibe he gives me anyway. I haven't met Baz yet. I'm sure I will at some point. Well, I hope I will. Um, but he gives me that vibe, the old school mentor vibe, where you're not going to step out of line with me, boy, but I'll give you every bit of knowledge I've got if you're willing to listen. That sort of vibe. You know what I mean, don't you? But we're nearly at test now, so um, get this job done and hopefully, hopefully we've got no disasters over the next few days. But you can't book it in this job. You don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. It's just, it is what it is. It's, it's the best bit about the job, the variation. You don't know what you're going to be doing from one hour to the next. Yeah, you've got your general list of jobs, inspections, which do my head in, but that's the backbone, that's the bread and butter, that's what pay the mortgage. But you don't know when something's going to detonate and you've got to go in and sort the job out. So I don't know what the contents of this video is. It might be something really exciting, it might be something really boring. It is what it is, isn't it? Eh? Need to clean them windows, don't I? Look at the state of them. I did wash them down like, on my last shift. What well, are yards that dirty? You wasted my time. I haven't, I haven't washed my personal van for about four months. But we're here for test. I'm a um, 20 to 8 test, the second one of the day. Got that 3 axle motor vehicle in first, and then me. So we just sit and wait for 20 minutes till that one's done. Um, I like to leave with plenty of time for MOTs because some days you can get here in half an hour, and other days it takes an hour, you just can't book it. So nice to get here early and just sit and wait in it. Calm before the storm and all that. Now, I'm not claiming to be the best mechanic in the world, but I reckon there's something missing off the back of that. Let me know in the comments <laughs> what you think's missing off the back of that bin lorry. Huh? So that's another MOT done. Easy money. Back to the yard and we'll see what... I hadn't even looked at the list of jobs when I kept going this morning. I just unlocked, jumped in the truck, headed in. Well, found my number plate first. Um, so I do not know what has gone wrong since I've been off. Uh, we will reconvene at the yard. I have got parts van, um, consumables van to sort out when I get there. She comes at about half past eight. So sort out some stock, um, give the apprentice a couple of jobs to be sorting out and then I'll go in the office and figure out what needs doing this week. And then we will jump back in with you guys and see what's what. Because I'm sure there'll be something this week. I'm not. I, I'm certain there'll be something this week. There'll be some form of disaster. There always is. There always is. It's what keeps the job exciting. You know what I mean? Keeps you on your toes. So I've sorted out my list of jobs. Um, but first up, I'm going to service the gaffer's truck. This is Pip's uh, pickup. I've been meaning to do this for literally two months. Just not had a chance. So I said to him on my way back from the MOT, bring your truck round. Let's get that serviced before before chaos arrives and chaos has since arrived so I've got a, also got a Volvo on its way back with an ad blue fault that's just popped up and it's catting him down to go into reduced power mode so get this knocked out real quick and hopefully have it done by the time that Volvo gets back and I will address that job. Um, I haven't serviced one of these new ranges before but it looks simple I'll show you real quick I'm not gonna do a tutorial or like that because I ain't got time but uh, yeah, now, now it's the new, it's the new Ranger. New, nice, nice truck these are. Um, pulled this skid plate off, just here, four bolts. Some plugs here, fuel filters there, oil filters up there, air filters on the top. Easy money in it. Easy money. Let's get this oil drained. Easy. Easy peasy. Socket, wasn't it? The design of that engineers don't think about it a lot. One wire right there. Yeah, you could unclip it, but who's got time for that? And you've got brake to it. That in there, just need to grab some brake cleaner out of my van, because we've run out. Um, but Transport sent me a care package. They, they, they supply Welder Fabric with some bits and all. Um, so I'll go to my van, the personal van, I've got a crate of brake cleaner in there. Spray that off. Uh, George is just putting the air filter in it. Um, and I'm going to whip this oil filter out next. Easy money. There's 
nowhere for this oil to go. I'm gonna make a right mess this is. What a stupid design. Just whipping this out, all right. I don't think it's the right one, do you? No. There she is. Spent all today's wages already, haven't I? Can earn nothing today. I've got a free mug, though. I've got some of these um, Torx extractor bits. So they've got, it's like an extractor for when you're around Torx and Allen keys, and a wiring feeder kit. Because we've been doing a lot of beacon jobs lately, and feeding it through bulkheads and stuff. I thought that might be handy, we'll see. I'll let you know in the future if it's actually good. But, um, yeah. Now I've spent all my wages before I've earned them. Get this fuel filter changed. I've done the oil filter, I just need to spray down all my mess. I need to grab that brake clean out of that. I think got none left in here. Um, yeah. Get this fuel filter done. I've left this draining. So it looks all on my arm. When I remove it, that's the plan anyway. Not done my these before, so I've done it. Just done it, you know, Right, so looks like you've got to pop two type pipes off the top and an electrical plug. Jesus Christ. Fuel filter's wrong and all. Air filter's wrong, fuel filter's wrong. Oil filter's right. Like, all the bits are wrong. So I'm gonna put this back on. Basically all we've done is oil. Well, my girl's got me out for Christmas. I said, I'm putting it on the back of my van. I was like, you're not, you're not. I am, though. <laughs> Poor thing. This is what they sent me. So you can spray it upside down, good stuff. I've got a box of each. So thanks, Transparts. I appreciate it. This is my personal supply. I feel they're robbing me. Where some weeks this job's cost me more than I actually earned. It's a true story. With tools and off like favours for mates for borrowing the car diagnostics for people and oh mate. Mate. We love it though, don't we? we you know it. what they say in this game, you're only as good as your last job. You could have done everything perfectly for years. Mess one thing up, and that's all people will remember you for. Take a bit of pride in your work, you know what I mean? Pollen filter for this bad boy's in here, but I'm guessing this is going to be wrong and all, isn't it? How do you get it out? Oh, there we go, look. What's the chance of this being right? I'm saying slim to none. Seems as all the other filters are wrong. Where is it? Have I done with it? Oh, I don't even that wrong. Got oil in there, about eight litres, reset the service light, got no leaks. Bosh. Quite in. nice in these new ranges. I'm off road by the way. She's uh she's all done. Well, I've done oil and filter and reset the service light, tire pressures and levels because fuel, air and pollen was all wrong. Ideal. Um I've cleaned all my mucky marks off, check for leaks, I'm just gonna whip it up the road and uh, drop this back off for him. And then I've got, in the back of the workshop, we've got a Volvo FH, a blue fault, so no idea what's wrong with that. We'll have a look. 
she's a good bit of, good bit of kit. I should have showed you how to um, reset the service light, shouldn't I? But there was four people staring at me because I constantly have people needing my attention. So that's that. I didn't. Um, in fact, I'll show you real quick now. I'll show you real quick how I did it. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but I'll show you. So, just put her in park. Switch her off. This is the new Ford Ranger. Put ignition on. You shut your mouth. Um, press this button here. It needs add blue put in it, that's his problem. Press this button here. Oh no, memento. It's got that many warnings. That button, that brings up this menu. Go down to vehicle maintenance, oil life. And then once you're on this, you hold your brake pedal and accelerator down until it goes from whatever percentage it is back to 100 and that's how you reset it. Simple as that, isn't it? Right, back to the workshop. Yeah, got this uh, Volvo diagnosed. This had blue injector nozzles all frosted up. So, it's the issue. The add blue injector in the exhaust had crystallized, so pulled the injector out of the exhaust, cleaned that out, cleaned all the pipes out, run a dosing test, and that's sweet. But then once you've done that, you also have to reset on the diagnostics that has had the injector cleaned. So that should be fine now, hopefully. Now I'm gonna have some dinner. My apprentice went for dinner about an hour ago. Fuck knows where he's gone. Don't know. Found my next job, but I'm not sure I'm gonna get it out. She's a bit tight there, close to that one. And yeah, so let's do some shuffling. Yeah, that was easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What a leak in the new warehouse now. It's always exciting around here. Said new warehouse. legs on these trailers. Cool, isn't it? I oh, know. I oh, know. Just be a predator. Get boy out. Struggling, bless him. <laughs> Give him no space to wind the legs up. Well, I didn't. Someone else dropped the trailer and we're picking it up. We've got a big job. Big job. No good. Professional Miana, top quality. 
got that trailer inspection boxed off. I had a few um, cuts on the curtains, got them patched up. Now I've got this trailer in, which is an MOT prep, boring stuff. So got MOT prep that, and if the Eagle Eye ones you notice, this Volvo's back. So it's the next day now. We ran it for the afternoon yesterday. It was fine, and switched the ignition on this morning, and the fault's back. So I told him to take my shunter, he took my shunter to give me some more time with it, because uh, that had blue injectors, obviously. I cleaned all the pipes out, all the way back to the pump, um, but it's crystallizing again, I assume, because that's happened twice now. So I need to do more testing. Whether I know it's throwing air down the pipe to clean it out, because I can hear it and I could test that. But whether it's the Ad Blues contaminated, I don't know. I've got to do some more testing, but I've got to prep this first, because this is for tomorrow morning's test. Um, yeah, so we'll do the trailer first. On with the truck and see what see what's going on with that. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you wanna get the best of me, got you smiling, that's for sure. Funny how you had the best of me. Testing this MOT trailer now. Get this out of the way and then I can have a look at this Volvo because this is important, obviously. But everything's important. Everyone wants everything now, don't they? You know how it goes. And brakes are all sweet. That's that. Ready for MOT, bar and MOT wash. Just going to get Georgie Pordy to wash that for me. I'm going to go grab another trailer inspection, drag that in. So then when, I'm, when I've got this Volvo in a million bits, he's got something to drop onto. Um, yeah. Forward plan and all that. Drop this trailer, go find another victim, and then delve into this Volvo. Uh, it ain't got a blue fault on the dash, so it might be another fault. It's just got engine light. Driver just pulled up this morning, he's like, I got engine light. I said, Take my truck, I'll deal with it when I get time because I've got to sort some of my OTs out. So I don't even know if it's a related fault. We'll find out when we plug it in, won't we? So I'll guess it's Volvo now. So let's see what we can figure out. Hmm. So I've got all the ad blue pump exposed. Injector exposed, add blue feed pipe to the injector, and then that's the air pipe. So I'm going to whip these off now, whip that out, and see what the state of the injector is. And yeah, that bolt snaps. Just doing some testing on the injector. systems go this morning i got that test done trailer tests done all buttoned up that's parked up ready for work i've had a shuffle about so this truck's ready to be stripped down i've sourced all the parts i've got most parts being delivered at dinner i've just got to get um pop up to volvo scunny to grab a couple of gaskets and new ad blue injector because they were all genuine parts only i was trying to go after market but i've got a new pump coming new clamps yeah all sorts coming today so just get this tore down. I've just inspected that, so that I'm going to kick that out now. I'll drag another one in for the apprentice, so when I'm on there with that job, he can be tapping around the trailer. Yeah, all systems. Oh, I've just done a customer trailer, and all. I had no lights on the top markers, so just wire the repair some wiring on that. All systems go. Finally, back on with this job, and we have a plan. So I've got a new Ad Blue injector. I've got to drill out that broken stud. I've got to whip this teardrop cover off and dig out all the Ad Blue. Um, that's broke, but we're not going to worry about that because it's still tight in there. So I'm going to remove it at this end on the rubber hose there. I'm going to whip this bracket off to give me access to drill this out. And I've got a stack of new parts in stock now. I've also got a new pump, a blue pump to go on there. So, without further ado, less talking, more working. Let's get it. Hmm. I've got next to no ad blue in there, have I? I could have got away about removing all of that, but I didn't know. It's one of them, isn't it? I was led to believe that'd be full. But I've obviously caught it really early. Hmm. Never mind. Never mind. It makes it easy to drill this bolt out anyway. And uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. One of them in there. That needs to go back on there now. There's the old unit. Beautiful. Your finest Chineseium unit on there now. Look, it's even got Chinese language on it. That was a doddle to fit other than trying to get them stupid fittings out. So I ended up cutting them and putting joiners in. Despite having the correct tool, I just couldn't get them out and then I got sick of trying. So. That was that. Primed up, I'm just doing a dosing test to make sure there's plenty of ad blue rope running through that nozzle, which she is. She's coming out now. That's actually missed in ad blue, and you can see on the camera. There you go. So she's all hunky dory. I can pop that back in when it's finished and start building her up. Clear faults down, and hopefully that's a wrap for this job. What as expensive as I thought it was going to be. What have I spent? About 1500 quid. I managed to get that pump 700. Injector nozzle about 400. Gaskets were 35 quid each. Clamps were similar, I think. Yeah. Something around 1500 quid, which is better than a silencer, isn't it? I'm gonna win a chicken dinner. Oh, it's just getting into the rhythm, wasn't it? I got cold all of a sudden. Boom, baby. She's all back together. So now I'm just going to take it on an extended road test. So hopefully, it's all tickety-boo. I've just got to move this truck back because I can't get it out of that gap. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Just been on a road test with this bad boy. And just for the record, the Volvo is my favourite truck still. I'm off-road before you come at me. This is the runway. Uh, she's got full power. And it's a lot of it for a little 500. They pull well, these do. And we got no fault. So, mission accomplished hope you've enjoyed the video that's it for this week make sure you like and subscribe i'm not gonna say i'm gonna upload on a specific specific day i'll upload when i feel like there's a, there's a nice job to record because uh, a lot of my work is inspections and no one wants to see that do that boring not a lot more work I actually get a lot of, a lot of the best jobs i do are just to have time to film is the the, the point is, is my point anyway catch you in the next one